Hello friends, welcome to Coding Interviews channel. Hope you are doing great. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. I have created a bunch of playlists to cover various categories of problems such as BFS, DFS, dynamic programming, link, link lists, queues, tags, etc. Please have a look at them. I have uploaded the code for this problem to the GitHub repository. You can get the link from description below this video. Let's jump into today's problem. Tuple with same product. Given an array nums of distinct positive integers. Return the number of tuples A, B, C, D such that A into B is equal to C into D. Where A, B, C and D are elements of nums. And A is not equal to B is not equal to C is not equal to D. So basically we need to find out the number of tuples from the given number of elements. And the clue is the numbers are distinct, right? So that's one first clue. And whatever the tuple that we are going to generate, it should have all the distinct elements. So basically, if A, B, C, D is a tuple, then A, B, C, D should not be equal to any of them basically, right? So that is the, those are the basic conditions, right? So the first thing is, the numbers are distinct and second thing is they should be all uh, different right and the product of first two numbers should be equal to the second two numbers you can say right a b c d a into b a star b is equal to c star d right that's that's the one so so basically if you look at the example one right the nums is two three four six right so how many different uh, products are possible? Let's let's go look at that first and try to understand, right? So how many different uh, products are possible from two, three, four, six? So multiply two with three, that will be six, right? Multiply two with four, that will be eight. Multiply two with six, that will be 12, right? So we don't have to do the cross thing again. So two with three and three with two are same, right? 2 into 3 is 6 and 3 into 2 is 6. So what we're going to do is only count the product starting from one element to the leftover element. So 2, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 6, like that, right? 6, 8, 12. And then 3, 4, so 12 we already have. And 3, 6, that is 18, right? And then 4, 6, that is 24, right? So these are the distinct products that are possible with this particular array right but let's count the pairs also right so the pairs for 6 is 2 and 3 right and for 8 it was 2 and 4 right and for 12 we have 2 and 6 to start with let's complete the 2 and 6 things and then 3 and 4 right so that is also another tuple right so 3 and 4 and for 18 it will be 3 and 6 right good and for 24 it will be 4 and 6 right so as we are saying seeing if you want to form a tuple with same product right that means you need at least two pairs right so you need at least two pairs a b and c d right you need at least two pairs otherwise you won't be able to do right so given that right six how many pairs you have only one pair so you can't get that into tuple and two four you just have only one pair so for 12 you have two pairs so with this you can actually make a tuple with same product right and for 18, you just have only one pair. And 24, you have only one pair. So all these, we actually don't really care about it, right? So we can just delete them, right, for us. So the only product which has more than one pair is 12, 2, 6, and 3, 4, right? So now, between this, right, so how many ways you can essentially arrange, right? So Obviously, you, you'll start with 2, 6, 3, 4, and then uh, you do the alteration of all those places, right? 2, 6, 3, 4, and you can just do 
six two three four right and so on basically if you look at this explanation right here under the left side so there are eight pairs that are really possible or eight tuples right so if you have two pairs right there are eight tuples possible so and so on we'll say and two pairs is equal to eight tuples right so that's the basic thing the understanding that we need to have right so let's go further so now that we know okay at the end of two pairs you just have eight tuples so what if there are three pairs what if there are three pairs right what if there are three pairs let's say just just for an example right so here let's extend i know th those elements are not there but le let's extend so let's say 12 1 there is another pair right 12 into 1 is 12 still right so let's say three pairs are there how many tuples are possible how many tuples right so if you look at it right the first two pairs with this we said there are eight possible right there are eight possible and then we will say okay with two six and twelve one right there are eight more and with three four and twelve one eight more right so how many total 8 plus 8 plus 8 that is 24 right so there are 24 tuples that are possible so how can we get to this 24 right so we have three pairs that we are going to generate 12 as the product and out of that to make the tuples we said 2 6 3 4 that is 8 tuples and 2 6 12 1 that is another 8 tuples 3, 4, 12, 1, another 8 tuples. Totally, it's 24 tuples. So, what if there are 4 pairs? 4 pairs. 5 pairs, 10 pairs, right? So, extrapolate. How can we get to the required thing, right? So, the way that we are going to see is, so, you have n pairs, right? And in order to construct a tuple, you need two pairs, right? So you have n pairs. In order to construct a tuple, you need two pairs because A, B, C, and D, right? A, B, C, and D makes two pairs, right? So n pairs and take two pairs to construct a tuple, right? So how many ways you have in order to construct n pairs with two n pairs having two pairs taken each time you will say n c 2 so you can say there are two n c 2 combinations right n c 2 so this is basically the combinatorix so if you know combinatorix right that's combinatorix so n c 2 n sorry n c 2 right so how many combinations are possible if you go look at that right so this will boil down into n into right n minus 1 by 2 so that many combinations are possible right so let's try so when n is 3 so we are we are looking at pairs we are not looking in the number of elements so that there is a difference okay so we are looking for pairs when there are two pairs, there are eight tuples that are possible, we said, right? But there are three pairs. How many tuples are possible? One. This is one pair. This is two. And this is three, right? So each pair, right? Each pair of pairs gives you eight tuples, right? This is a pair. This is a pair. Gives you eight tuples now we are looking how many these combinations are there when there are three pairs how many combinations are possible three combinations are possible when there are four how many combinations are possible that's what we are going to find out when three are there so pairs are three 
So how many combinations? Combinations is equal to we said 3 into 3 minus 1 is 2 by 2 right how many 3 right good. So, 3 combinations are possible. What are the combinations? 2, 6, 3, 4, 2, 6, 12, 1, 3, 4, 12, 1, right? So, 3 combinations. And each combination, how many tuples we can make? 8 tuples into 8 tuples, right? So, that is the formula that we are going to use. So, that will be 24. So, for example, pairs are 4, right? Let us say. So, how many combinations we will have? 4 into 3 by 2, how much it will be? 6, right? So, how many tuples totally? 8 tuples, right? So, how much it is going to be? So, 4 into 3, right? n into n minus 1 by 2, 4 into 3, that means 6, 6 into 8 is 42, right? 48, that many tuples are possible, good? So, this is the base algorithm that we are going to use in order to solve this problem, right? Good. So, in order to count basically this one, right? Or we, start, we, we will go back to this. We need to count for each product how many pairs are possible. So, in this case, there are two pairs and in this case, three pairs we said, right? For 12, we, because we just added 12, 1, right? So, first step is to get how many pairs are there. Step 1 is calculate, calculate number of pairs for a product, right. So, once you do the number of pairs for a product, right, step 2 is, step 2 is use this formula, right. Step 2 is use this formula, right. We said n into n minus 1 by 2 and this will be multiplied by 8. Why? Because for each tuple there are, for each pair there are 8 tuples that are possible. So, right and you keep a counter of sum. So, keep a counter for every count the number of pairs you append or add that sum that will be the answer. So, we will be going through two steps first calculating the number of pairs and for each pair the pairs is equal to n here right and for each product we get the tuples after that we are done essentially right go. Let us look at the code for this. So, as I said we will have we will have the counts this is the dictionary which will have two things the product and the number of pairs for that product right. So, we go through the array and then calculate the product. So, if the product is in the counts then we just append one more to it otherwise we just add it. So, at this point what we have is the pair count and the product right. So, in e previously we are looking at 12 and 2, 6, 3, 4 right. Similarly, what we will have is 12 and 2. The 2 is the count. We do not actually need the pair themselves. We just care about the count. So, once we have the count in here, what we are going to see essentially is we will have to go through that the dictionary and exercise this formula right. So, we are calling x y that is a pair in the count and then append to the answer basically add to the answer. So, wherever we have more than one only those pairs we will we will be those products will be considering right. So, if there is only one pair generating the product we cannot really make the tuple we need to have at least two right. If at all we have at least two then only we are going to use this formula right. So, that those are the two steps hope that clarified your questions. So, now let us look at the time and space complexity right. So, time and space. So, let us let us assume there are 
m elements in input array right so in that case what is the time complexity we are looking at so we will be having we will be going through we have two for loops right so we will be looking at order of m square basically order of m into m that is the time complexity and we will be going through the array any uh, the dictionary anyway that should be less than order of m into m or in the worst case it will be equal to order of m into m so the total complexity will be order of m into m and what is the total space complexity so the space complexity that we are using we are using two placeholders one is the count dictionary and another one is answer so this is just one simple variable so this this will be always taking a constant time for that and the majority of the space is considered by the counts dictionary but how many products are really possible right so we will say okay if none of them have any overlaps if all of them are distinct right in that case the space complexity would also be equal to the order of m into m so the time complexity is order of m into m and space complexity is also equal to m into m right so for this code or the complexity is order of m into m in terms of space as well as time so if you have any further questions please post them in the comment section below this video i'll get back to you as soon as i can I have posted this code to the GitHub repository. You can find the link in the description below this video. Please subscribe to my channel and share among your friends. Also, please click on the bell icon so that you will be notified with all my future videos. Thank you for watching. I will be back with another video very soon. Till then, stay safe and goodbye.